Jack was a master of his own, but here he is with the guy that he looked up to probably for decades. Nicholson had won the Academy Award the year before. Or he might have won it right while they were shooting because the film came out in 76. So that means yeah. that they were shooting in 75. Right. And that's right around the time Nicholson was collecting his Oscar for his Mac Murphy role. Yeah. And uh, which there's a Mac Murphy connection between you and I and that's Freaks right. and Geeks. That's right. And you called me McMurphy. I called you McMurphy because you were first wearing time that we worked hat. together. I was like, hey, McMurphy, this way, <laughs> not that way, over here, buddy. And I love that hat in Freaks and Geeks. And it was sort of based on my Nicholson obsession. But I also just like this idea of uh, wearing that, you know, beanie in, in the show. And the network would always say, tell the, the producers, like, don't let him wear the hat. We want to see his hair. But I would always <laughs> wear that hat. And then one time, Jason Siegel put one on. One of the night scenes, I got pissed. I was like, He's biting hey, your hat. That's my, that's my hat. <laughs> how, how long did that, you put the, you squashed that immediately, I, I take it. No, he did it for the one episode, but he knew I was pissed, <laughs> so he didn't do it again. It's funny because you know you you were doing what Brando was doing in the Missouri Breaks in a way. What? He was doing this what he wanted to do, <laughs> you know. So I'm wondering, you're in a play now, having to find the emotion every night. Is 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 that a problem for you with all the other things that you do? Do you find yourself sometimes like phoning it in, or or, or are you able to? fulfill the emotional demands of the of the role every performance eight mm -hmm. nights a week i'm somebody that likes to try a lot of things and not just to try it just for the sake of trying it but also i've realized one of my things is i want to understand how all the all the different art forms come together where are they separated what can one do that another can't what can you do in film that you can't do in theater and vice versa etc Doing this play has been awesome. It's a great play. I had the best director, Anna Shapiro. I've got a great, you know, cast to work with. And I've never done anything this many times. You know, I'm used to doing film. Yeah. But the difference, one of the differences is you have that audience there. And that's a whole different ball game. You know, that's what that's what um, Walter Benjamin talks about like the the aura is back. The actors are in the building. You know, it's not acting for a camera. There's a connection. There's there's energy that's being passed between the audience and the and the actors. And and I don't even mean just the obvious like oh they laughed at a joke. It's like just the presence and being in the presence of somebody performing is a whole different thing than performing for a camera. Yeah, sure, sure. And so that fuels me. But also this idea of, of this kind of discipline of like, let's just serve the play. All right, we're doing it again. Let's just do it again and let's do it well. Serve the play. Not me like, oh, I'm getting bored or I'm getting tired. Like, no, serve this play and serve this production and just do it right. And I feel like, you know, I don't want to only do theater. I'm, I'm a guy that likes to keep a little bit of a record, you know, of things. And, like, yeah. I'm even kind of initiating the filming of our production because wow. there's something in me that doesn't want it to just, like, disappear or, like, have, like, the critics' reviews be the only kind of trace of, of that performance. Yeah. Um, but I feel like going every night and just doing it as well as I can, that somehow like I'm making marks on um, the scroll of acting history, like you just doing it right for the production and not for myself. And that kind of fuels me. Yeah, that's great. You were great. And I thought the critics were, were hard on you. And that's I think you was know, only one. We got but, a lot of good reviews. Yeah, yeah. You, you know, you know, it's you know, uh, Keith Richards talks about Dean Martin being hard on the Stones, but that it made them a stronger band. I hope you'll come back and do another play. You know. Yeah. But hey, look, thanks for your time. I know yeah. you gotta go. We could talk forever. You know, yeah, I could have talked. I, I really wanted to talk about 127 hours and more about how. Well, if you if this thing um, gets going, I'll come back. Yeah. And, I'll come uh, back in two seconds. Thank you so much. All right. Thanks, brother.